everybody. So today I got my pick line out. Picky the pick line is gone. So I thought I would do a little video about that experience and kind of <laughs> let you know how it went. It's super easy process. So I had chemo on Friday and today is Tuesday. So it's only been a few days since chemo um, and I usually get home hydration on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then I cancel it for Tuesday. I find by Tuesday usually I'm okay. I can have my own water and monitor it. I feel a lot better. So it's just, I'd rather drink the water than to be hooked up to a machine, well, an IV pole for the morning. Um, but anyways, so I originally had it scheduled to be taken out on Wednesday. Sometimes they want you to keep your PIC line in until you have your final scans, like your CT scan where you are a PET scan. And my doctor did suggest that to me, but that's in three weeks. And I wanted it gone. <laughs> um, needles don't really bother me. So for me, I would rather them just take the pick line out. I can live normally for three weeks. And then the day that I get my scan, they put in an IV for that day. That's fine with me. I just don't want that pick line anymore. So um, my doctor said that's fine. So they had it scheduled for Wednesday. Today is Tuesday and then I called them and I said can we actually get it out Tuesday because <laughs> I'm so antsy just to get it out it's not like it's a huge like a huge inconvenience to have it's just annoying and I find that I sleep on my left side a lot and I put my head on my shoulder and then I sometimes wake up it's really sore and tender because I slept on it and you shouldn't sleep on it obviously and it just is irritating and it's hard to shower and it's just annoying it's bulky underneath clothes I don't even wear a, a sleeve for my pick line anymore because I just found that they would get all bulked up underneath my clothes um, so I just would just wear it as is and I'd wear like a long sleeve t-shirt and that would just kind of hold it in place for me anyways um, and just a little note too I get my pick line dressing changed once a week so I'd always shower on the day that I go get it changed because then if you get it wet, it's not a big deal because you're getting the dressing changed anyways. Um, because basically what they say is if you do get your pick line dressing wet, you need to get it changed as soon as possible so it doesn't become infected. So that's just a little tip um, to do that. And then that way it's you're not as worried about it. But I never had any problems. I had it in me for six months and I never it never got affected it did every couple of weeks i'd say every three four weeks it would get very tender um around the incision and i think that's because and this is a little gross but my skin was trying to heal around it so it would form a scab and then the scab would like attach itself to the pick line and it would kind of irritate the skin so that would get very sore but nonetheless you can live with it it's manageable it's just annoying so i just wanted it out it was just another thing that just needed to be gone just tired of it um so i got it done today so basically to get it taken out was the simplest thing i've ever done <laughs> it was literally like a 15 minute appointment i got there at the chemo suite which I'm upset that I had to get it taken out at the chemo suite because just being at the chemo suite, the smell and the, all oh, the sight of it, I want to vomit and I'm not that far out of chemo. So I, anyways, that's a whole other story, but I got there, they registered, gave me like a wristband. I waited in the waiting room, nurse came and got me so a nurse can take it out. I had to do it at the hospital though. And they took me just in this little room and she I actually started taking off the dressing for her while she was getting set up because I was so antsy just to get it done with. I took the dressing off. She cleaned it just around a little bit and then took off the little, I don't know what you call it, but the thing that holds the pick line in place. She took that off. Um, and then she told me to look over there and take a deep breath in and breathe out. And then that was it. I was like, what? She's like, it's out. I was like, it's out? So she literally just pulled it out, but I didn't feel a thing. She just told me to look over there and like, she just to took it out. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. So anyways, the taking of it out, like literally I breathed in and out and it was out when I ex exhaled. So that was probably like two seconds. So it doesn't hurt. Didn't notice it. And then it's just, I just saw it's just like a white little line that, yeah. Anyways, that I had in me forever and I'm like, see ya later, picky the pick line. Nice knowing you. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. My doorbell just rang, so I gotta go get that. Sorry about that. I got flowers delivered. How nice. Um, so yeah, she took it out super quick. 
painless. And then basically she told me to put pressure on it. So I just had to hold it with my hand for five minutes. And as soon as I was done that, she put the Band-Aid on and I just explained if I get a fever um, over 38, make sure I go to Emerge and tell them that I had, you know, my pick line taken out. Um, if it bleeds through the bandage to hold it again with pressure for 15 minutes and if it continues to bleed go to emerge and tell them the same thing um, but otherwise it should be good to go no heavy lifting for 24 hours I'm not to shower or bath like get it wet for 24 hours and I'm like, that's fine with me. Like I've had this thing in me for, <laughs> for so long. I don't care. Another 24 hours is fine. But that's that. It's just now you can see um, on camera how gross my arm looks though. Like the skin is all dry around it. Um, and you can see some of like the iodine that they used to clean it. It's just, ugh, it's not a very pretty sight. I'll tell you that much. But the actual hole, the incision hole is like we're talking a centimeter, like it is so tiny. I don't even think it will scar, like I don't even think you'll notice it, it being there. Um, so that's really good because I know a lot of people who get um, ports put in in their chest, they have to wait like five, six months in, after they're done chemo until they can get that removed and they have quite a big scar on their chest. So I think it's, it's nice in a way because they can shower normally and swim and whatever with it in. Um, while they're doing treatment however it seems like a kind of annoying because it gets itchy around the area and you get scarring I don't know I've never had a port so and I mean pick line is just equally as annoying I would assume but that being said painless to put in painless to put out and I got it taken out right away <sighs> so that's good and as soon as I got it taken out I've got to say I felt like literally closing chemo chemo the door closed on chemo. Like I felt like I was moving on, which is great. So I went and had lunch with my mom to celebrate.